Hi, hello my dears. Glad to meet you again. And how are you? Hope you are fine and happy. I am fine and happy here. And welcome back to English class. We are dealing with the second unit, aren't we? Yes. And the second unit is dedicated for traveling. We have seen uh, ship traveling and uh, train traveling, etc. And the third lesson in that unit also is about traveling. It's a poem named Marvelous Travel. Marvelous Travel. What do you mean by marvelous? Marvelous means surprising. Marvelous means surprising. Okay. What's your concept of traveling? Your idea of traveling? Is traveling uh, just for entertainment? No. Traveling increases our understanding of the world. Traveling gives us wisdom. How? Okay. I will show you a traveling. A video of a surprising travel. Are you ready? Watch it. Five, three, two, one. Release, release, release. Fire. Fire. <laughs> Welcome to witnesses, you're clear to unstrap. Welcome to space. To all you kids down there, I was once a child with a dream, looking up to the stars. Now, I'm an adult in a spaceship with lots of other wonderful adults looking down to our beautiful, beautiful Earth. To the next generation of dreamers, if we can do this, just imagine what you can do. <laughs> Alright, everybody wow. look at the window. Don't miss Epigees. Oh my we'll god. Wow. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is unbelievable. This is too unbelievable. Uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, oh, unbelievable. You are the man. <laughs> okay. And please return to your seats and strap in. Approach and re-entry. Okay. Get back up. Okay, could you uh, identify what travel it is? <laughs> yes, 
it is space travel. They are space tourists and they are traveling in a spaceship. And do you like to travel in a spaceship? <laughs> okay, and I hope uh, you know uh, the person Sandosh George Kulangara. Have you heard of them? And have you uh, have you ever seen uh, a video from him? He is a traveler and he has visited uh, I, I think, think almost, almost all, all the uh, countries, countries in the world. And uh, he, he is uploading the videos of his travel in YouTube. And that videos are very uh, what uh, we can get the overview of the countries from that video. And uh, Sandosh George Kulangarya, he is uh, going to be a space tourist from Kerala also. Okay. And uh, in Kerala, we have an old travel mad person. Travel mad person. And I think I have uh, given you the name in earlier classes. Do you remember S.K. Pataka? Yes. He is a traveler, a travel mad person. He has, he also had uh, visited so many countries in the world and he had written so many books, travelogues. When you visited the library, uh, I hope uh, you have identified his books. Didn't you? Haven't you identified his books? Okay. So, I will read out a part from his book. Listen here. Yes, this is a uh, page from his book, Europe Lude. Neela Guha. Ibhaganian Vikana Neela Guha. Capri dubile, or a albuda drishamana nila guha. Younger Marina Grande il nina, or a Tony Varda keda, nila guha kana and purakoto. Tony Karen Tane Aidino, younger the Margather she. Dubine Ariginode, Cadalile Cochalegale Talodi Kunda, a nard and Tony, Nini Kundiriki. Nithia Nira Maya, Nira Rile, Nana Varnam Kalarna Malsingal. Nindi Kalikina Kalcha, Acheria Garema Idino Capri Dubindi Uberib Hagam, Paledatam, Madare Paraka Milata, Akni Parva the Karinga Legal Kunda, Muda Patadai Kana Akni Parva the Chopangunda, Drevicha Para Ketagalam, Lava Origia Padagalam, Dubinde Konegaliana, Tilinia Kanana Inia Motor, E. Nila Guhi Kurchala Varnaniana, Adata Pajigal. In the Rubhangi and other, are the Indian and Arabica Petrik in the day, and the other than the Prathanium in the area, Adehama Buke, Parainenda. Book Idana, Europe Lude, Escape Patakad in the book. Nira go he could see Baki, Rina Mingle, a book at the Vikini, number library leader. Okay. So, traveling is not just sightseeing and shopping, it gives us understanding of the world. Traveling helps us understand the world and the people in it. In our poem, The Marvelous Travel by Joshua Fernandez, he tells us about his concept of traveling. About his concept of traveling. Let's read the poem. Okay? Listen here. Okay. Marvelous Travel. Written by Joshua Fernandez. Let's read the poem first. Marvelous Travel I travel with my eyes, watching those silently cry, asking themselves the question why someone left them without saying goodbye. I travel with my thoughts, I travel with my pen, to write about children, women and men. I travel with my voice. I travel with my hope that something new would spring into my horoscope. Whether in Asia, America or Europe, there will always be something interesting to scope. I travel to many different places, mixed with many races 
identify tribesmen by their faces and little girls by their laces. I travel without money, so please listen to my testimony. The good, the bad and even the ugly, every experience is what life's journey. For I will always be marvel whenever I travel. I travel with my eyes, watching those silently cry. I travel with my eyes. And are we travel without my eyes? Without our eyes? Taking our eyes and put them in a um, cup in the house and we travel? Are we? <laughs> no. Then what it means? I travel with my eyes. I travel with open eyes. And I see people and things. Not just the beauty of the world, but I will see or I see the people and their life also. I see their life also. That is the meaning. I travel with my eyes. That means I see people and their life also. I travel with my eyes. Watching those silently cry, asking themselves the question, why someone left them without saying goodbye. And when, when I travel, I see people, crying people. Why are they crying? They are crying because someone has left them without saying goodbye. Some, some of their relatives have died. Left them means died without saying goodbye. That is suddenly the relatives, uh, their relatives died suddenly without saying goodbye. So they are crying. That is the meaning. So I see suffering people. I not just seeing the tourist spots, the shopping malls, but I see the life of people, their suffering. Get the idea? Yes. I travel with my eyes, watching those silently cry, asking themselves the question, why someone left them without saying goodbye. I travel with my thoughts, I travel with my pen, to write about children, women and men. I travel with my thoughts. What do you mean by that? I travel with my thoughts. That means that I think about what I see. I think about what I see. I'm not traveling, just seeing things, seeing the beauty or seeing the shopping malls or seeing the high tall buildings. but. I see life and I think about it. That means I travel with my thoughts. I travel with my pen. I travel with my pen. For what? What is the use of a pen? Yes, look at the second next line. To write about children, women and men. I write about children, women and men. I see the life of people, children, women and men. That means people, the whole world, the people in this world. That is the children, women and men. They are the representatives of the people in the whole world. Okay. So I write about their life. I write about their suffering. That is. I travel with my thoughts, I travel with my pen to write about children, women and men. I travel with my voice, I travel with my hope that something new would spring into my horoscope. I travel with my voice, voice, yes you know, voice, our voice, our sound. I travel with my voice, I travel with my hope. What do you mean by I travel with my voice? Voice here means I protest against 
whenever it is needed. I protest whenever it is needed. I raise my voice whenever it is needed. When I see uh, something or some injustice, I will raise my voice. That is the meaning of I travel with my voice. I will protest against the injustice. Okay. I travel with my hope that something new would spring into my horoscope. Horoscope. What do you mean by horoscope? Jadagam. In the Jadagatileke, something new would spring, would come. Spring here means come. Something new would come into my horoscope. Here, horoscope means life. Horoscope, the real meaning of horoscope is Jadagam. But here it means life. Okay? So, I hope that something new would spring into my horoscope. When I travel, I will get new experiences. That is the meaning. When I travel to different places, I get new experiences. I will meet new people. I can see new places. And I will get new experiences also. Whether in Asia, America or Europe, there will always be something interesting to scope. Whether in Asia, America or Europe. Asia, America, Europe. They are three continents. Three continents. And I hope you know uh, how many continents are there on earth and what are their names also. Don't you know? If you, if you don't know, please refer your geography textbook or history uh, textbook, social science. Textbook of social science, refer. Then you will get the name of the continents. Okay. So these three, Asia, America and Europe are the names of three continents. And here, these three names represent the whole world, whole earth. The whole earth, that is. Whether in Asia, America or Europe, there will always be something interesting to scope. Something interesting to scope. Scope here means hope. Pradeesh again. Everywhere there is something interesting. Interesting. What do you mean interesting? Talpedi Mundakanada. Resagare Mayada. Yes. In all the world, in on earth, everywhere on earth, there is something interesting. I will get some new experience. I can see some interesting things, interesting people, etc. Okay. Next answer. I travel to many different places, mixed with many races. Identify tribesmen by their faces and little girls by their laces. I travel to many different places. It's very clear. Mixed with many races. Many races, races. Uh, listen here, I will show you a thing. Look here, look at this picture. There are so many types of people. Look at each face, each face. Observe each face. Each face is different from other. So, this face, this face, this, this, and this, and this, and this. Look at the faces. They are different. So, in each continent, we can see different types of people. Different races of people. Uh, Europeans is a race of people. Uh, Negroes are another race of people. Aryans, uh, Dravida. And they, they all are different races of people. Okay. So, I travel to many different places mixed with many races. I can, I can see many races, many types of people in the different parts of the world. Mixed with many races. 
identify tribesmen by their faces. Tribesmen? I will show you tribesmen. Look, this is a tribe woman. They are tribesmen. This is another tribal woman. This, this is a tribal woman and a tribal man. This is another tribe of people. Tribal people. Okay. So these are the tribal people. Adi Adima Manisha in a number parim. Kartilevasikina Avarida Tanadaya Samskara Mulla Modern Alkarimaya Atra Bentha Milata. That type of people are known as tribal papers. And I hope you have studied about tribal people uh, in your history book. Didn't you? Have you studied about the tribal people? Okay, so these are some tribal people. So I can identify tribesmen by their faces. When I see a tribesman, I can identify he is a tribal paper like that. Okay, identify tribesmen by their faces and little girls by their laces. <laughs> uh, what do you mean by laces? I will show you. Yes, look at the end of this frock. These are laces. Here, here you can see the laces. Okay, this. Yes, I can identify little girls by their laces. <laughs> I think these are the uh, rhyming uh, words. <laughs> okay, I travel to many different places, mixed with many races. Identify tribesmen by their faces and little girls by their laces. I travel without money. So please listen to my testimony. The good, the bad and even the ugly. Every experience is worth life's journey. For I will always be marveled whenever I travel. I travel without money. I travel without money. Without money. Money? Yes, you know money. Without money. Because what it means? I travel without money. It means that I am traveling around the world not for shopping. Not for shopping. Not for buying things. Buying fancy things and I'm not going for tourist spots. That is the meaning of I travel without money. So please listen to my testimony. Testimony. Proof. What do you mean by testimony? Proof. Tell you. So please listen to my testimony. The good, the bad, and even the ugly, ugly, dirty, dirty, Ayukanaranya, Irekolata, that is ugly. The good, the bad, and even the ugly. Every experience is worth life's journey. Every experience we get when we travel, it is worth life's journey, worth, valuable. Worth means valuable. Mulya mulla dana. Vile yulla dana. Every experience is worth life's journey. Our life's journey. We are, uh, we are in a travel. Life travel. And in that travel, the experiences gives us wisdom. Experiences give us wisdom. That is, that, that is uh, Joshua Fernandez uh, is telling us. Every experience is worth life's journey. For I will always be marvel whenever I travel. I will always be marvel. 
I surprised whenever I travel. When I travel through the world, I, I became surprised. Everything surprised me. The people, their experiences, their life, the places, everything surprised me. So believe me. So please listen to my testimony. I am the proof. I travel without money. But I get experiences. And those experiences make me wiser. Make me wiser. Every travel gives us experience. And those experiences make us wiser. And that help us to live life more happily. More uh, in a way, in a better way. That is. Okay. So let's read the poem once more. I travel with my eyes, watching those silently cry, asking themselves the question, why someone left them without saying goodbye. I travel with my thoughts, I travel with my pen, to write about children, women and men. I travel with my voice, I travel with my hope, that something new would spring into my horoscope. Whether in Asia, America or Europe, there will always be something interesting to scope. I travel to many different places, mixed with many races, identify tribesmen by their faces and little girls by their laces. I travel without money, so please listen to my testimony. The good, the bad and even the ugly, every experience is worth life's journey. For I will always be marveled whenever I travel. So that is the poem, Marvelous Travel. So uh, read the poem so many times and we can go for the question answers and the poetic devices in our group and I will give you the poetic device checklist and you are to fill it up for this poem this uh, marvelous travel the poem marvelous travel so when you read uh, the poem check for the poetic devices uh, don't you don't you have the poetic um, checklist for the poetic devices yes I hope you have so with that checklist, uh, check for each and every poetic devices in this poem also. Okay, so see you in the next class. Till then, bye-bye.